What's going on guys? My name is Tim Russwick and today I just wanted to talk a little bit about people and the people that we hang out with because the people we hang out with are so important but a lot of times it's not really on our radar. We're not really actively thinking about okay how is this person influencing me? When I hang out with this person how do I feel? When I hang out with this person how much do I get done? Uh, for a long time in my life it really wasn't on the radar. It really wasn't focused on um some of the effects that people were having on me when I hung out with them. But when I started paying attention, I realized that some people are just healthier to be around, right? They're more productive. Uh, you get shit done. You, um, you feel like they have your back, you know? And if there's one thing I've learned in life, it's to surround yourself with people that have your back. Now, you know, they're hard to find. <laughs> they're not easy to find. If everybody had your back, you know, this world will be great. And the world is fantastic, but it's kind of hard to find those people sometimes. And, you know, as we're in this little holiday season, um, it makes me kind of reflect and kind of look back and, and see all the people that have been there for me and really had my back with stuff. And my family is all spread across the United States. Uh, so family get-togethers are hard to do, uh, but... When I don't have family, it's nice to have uh, people that, you know, are around me that love me. And I can really say, truly, like, they have my back. Um, and I think that someone told me the definition of trust one time. Um, they said that trust was when you truly believe that the other person has your best interest in mind and you know what i can't say that for a lot of people i can't really say that i 100 percent believe that they have my best interests in mind uh in business in even in game development you know we're all worried about our own stuff we're all worried about our own little circle it's been a long day um but you know there are people are out there and when you find the people that you really know 100% have your best interest in mind, keep those people around because those people are very rare and uh, the effect they can have on you, on your mental health, on the things that you get done, on just knowing that like you're not alone, you know, like you got other people, even if, like I have friends, I have old friends from high school, some of them it didn't really go anywhere and just doing whatever the hell they want. But some of them, you know, they are, I know that they would 100% be like, if I was out and I got caught with a flat tire on the road at 2 AM on a holiday and I called them, I know they would have my back. If they couldn't come meet me, they would like, you know, hook me up with AAA or some, something like, I know that they would be there for me. And to have that kind of peace of mind is, is I haven't had it my whole life, you know, I, I haven't had, always had people that I really believe are there for me, and going through a lot of shit, and kind of, you know, interacting with a lot of different people, and, and having a lot of friends, I think, where I truly didn't believe they had my best interests in mind, can kind of jade you on what friends are, they can kind of, like, um, really change your definition of the people that you should have around and and when you have people that are maybe less than optimal around you you start to settle you know and then once you get the less than optimal people around you then maybe you know the people you can have fun with or the people are not good for your mental health or whatever uh sometimes people can even take control of it you know they can like will themselves into your life with persistence even though they shouldn't really be there um but people that have your back are important, and if you don't have any of those, whether, I mean, if it's a significant other, a spouse, a brother, sister, parents, friends, anybody, if you don't have any, I would recommend that you try and find some. And they're hard to find, man, especially later in life, you know, building friendships and building, um just meeting people is hard as as an older as you get in your late 20s right it's not as easy as it was in high school it's not as easy as it was when you're a kid 
can't just ride your bike down the neighbor's house or something and just say, hey, wanna wanna hang out? But you, you gotta make some effort. You gotta go do things that you enjoy, right? In in game in person game jams are, are really great for this kind of thing. Um, but it, you know what I've noticed too. Yes, it's great to have people that are into the same thing that you're into. It really makes that friendship uh, easy, and it, it makes hanging out easy. But there are also people that just are not into what you're doing, but they're good people, and they will have your back. And meeting those people just comes down to being social, you know, and going to events. Uh, Groupon and Living Social and those kind of places have a lot of like really social events. Meetup.com is a great place to kind of try stuff and just join groups on random interests a lot of different places you can find these people and it takes a lot of work you know it took me a couple of years to kind of build up a base of, of people that and even now it's still you know somewhat small but they're people that I know have my back and I appreciate that a lot like they I don't know if they realize because of that how much ride or die I am for them like I would do anything for these guys um, my brother's one of those people you know he's always been there for me he's always had my back um, we've had our issues over the years but like yo you know he's he's always right there I know he's always ready to help me if, if I need anything uh, he's always right just down to talk you know about about the random stuff and I realize how lucky I am to have those kind of people in my life um, going so long with you know, without it like there was a point in time where i wasn't talking to my brother where i had a lot of unhealthy people in my life and just it it gets in your brain man it just uh it's it's a mess so that's the message for today find people that have your back and when you find them keep them around it this is a little more self-improvement than game game development for sure but this is really important man if you want to get anything done you want to make anything uh creative if you want to do anything entrepreneurial you're gonna need people that's just how it is and you know it, it helps to know that someone somewhere is looking out for you and uh i hope you get those people in your life if you do or you got any tips on how to find them uh leave that down below in the comments i would love to hear from you guys once again i'm tim ruswick and i will see you again tomorrow